What is going on, everyone? Welcome to today's video. My name is Mike, also known as Modded ATS. Today, we are going to be jumping into episode number two of the Owner Operator series here on the channel. You guys have absolutely killed it on the first one. I'm really glad because let me tell you something, this is going to be one hell of an episode. <laughs> so as you guys see we did it <clears throat> we've already made a terrible financial decision we took a loan out of a hundred grand was riding around and i found this old 1952 peter car i'll tell you what that dull dull aluminum the old aluma gym sent around that grill really was the selling point for me but uh we had a good price on it i did take out a loan of 100 grand and the truck ended up costing us little bit around the 50 to 60 mark not too too terrible uh the truck is very loud it's got an old 855 cummins in it the uh i believe it's the what the big cam one um if i'm not mistaken i could be mistaken i'm sure someone in the comment section will correct me below it is back to the 10 speed with 463 rears or the gear ratio is a 463 so very very tall gear this thing is going to be screaming Definitely could probably pull some loads with it. I love how I keep looking around it like that. I'm like spatic about it because I'm so nervous that I spent all this money on it. We do have the IFTA sticker already on her, so she is good for the fuel tank so we can cross state lines. But be kind of interesting to cross the old state lines with this bad girl. But we do have an appointment with the paint shop to get this thing lettered up eventually. So without further ado, let's jump right in this thing. Pretty bare bones, huh? Got the wigwam there. That says low air. Uh, we will turn the key. Wigwam will go up. We do have air pressure. And I will fire this thing up and uh, apologize ahead of time to you headphone users. Oh, she's a screamer. Oh yeah, she's gonna sound pretty good, guys. Now, have you noticed here, we have no GPS in the truck. Kind of a little homage to the old no GPS series that we have here on YouTube. We uh, don't have a GPS in this truck yet. We have yet to unlock it. Again, my apologies to the headphone users. This thing is gonna be really, really loud, but I really do hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do. And we're gonna go pick up some buoys. Uh, we got a load for about $120. And we gotta pay back 113 a day on this thing. Try to pay back some of our load. So what we're gonna try to do is do two loads today. The buoys only have to go down the street. So it's not a terrible, terrible far ride. But we do want to try and get those buoys done and over with. I'm going the wrong way. I can already tell right now construction site back here oh Hannah sorry guys my apologies we gotta go back around that circle here I even read the directions I just kind of know the guy on the phone told me where we were going so if you guys are new to the series here this is the realistic profile as well with the realistic economy so we are rock and roll with the gdc economy mod and the real fuel mod we have our settings set accordingly we will have links to most of the mods there down in the description below and in case anyone would like to try this out as well 
Come on, baby. Are we really not going to be able to get out of here now? What's this guy doing? Why did he stop like that? Whoa, freight shaker. Appreciate it, my guy. Oh, whoa, whoa, are you gonna let me go? All right, man. Well, what the heck, man? Make your mind up. I don't, I don't have all that horsepower. We got, we got baby horsepower. Keep it. I think this is the right way to go. I really hope so. I gotta get on the highway and get off the highway. Oh, here's the highway. Here's the five. Oh, guys, I really do apologize. This thing is going to scream. Anybody coming? No. Uh, Cummins. There it is. Got to figure it out on how to drive the old Cummins. Oh, guys, she is going to be... We were up in ninth gear. There's 10th gear. She is going to be a 50 mile an hour ride. I really hope we can get two loads out today. It's not a Jake, though. Oh, yeah. Let me know down in the comment section if you guys are a fan of the Jake. Also, guys, let me know if you guys are new here. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. So this way you guys are notified when the next video goes out. Really do appreciate all the recent support. We are on the road to 4,000 subscribers. Now, I can't recall. I'm gonna uh, pull my trailer, my trolley there. Open up my map. I'm pretty sure I got to turn all the way down the end of the road. Okay, so we're going to Westport all the way down the end. Okay. See, we do have a map, but we're not fully no GPS. Don't need to read it down all the way. I guess my trailer brake won't work when I don't have a trailer, huh? So all the way at the end of this road. Guys, look how slow we're going right now. Guys are looking at us on the road, too. Probably going, what the hell? Jake brake sounds phenomenal in here, though. I'll rip it out a little bit. Oh, she snaps. Gonna hide the Mustang behind the old Peter Gar hood. One thing I love about Pete's, you can always hide a car. I'm gonna try to start this out in first gear. That was a mistake. So I can't make a left here, so I'm assuming it's gonna be the next one. Oh my God, we almost got a red light ticket. Is it this one? That kind of looks like a... Uh... I don't know. And now some of you guys are probably saying, well, Mike, you could literally just pull the map up. Wow, almost, almost. Oh, we didn't get the green line. Take a look at this thing out in the daylight. Guys got a nice little look on it here. Pretty, pretty cool. As you see here, look, look, look. That's in low. At least we did not get a red light ticket. Jake break for the hammers. Thing just absolutely barks. Alright, so 
so we're gonna be picking up at the Westport right there. There it is. We're gonna be picking up these giant buoys, and they're only going down the road, so it shouldn't be that far of a ride. However, the fact that we do not have really any horsepower uh, should do for something else. So Rustic is there. Westport is gonna be on my right here. There is the emblem there. We'll pull the brake. We'll hit the activate key. I'm not on it, maybe. Do we not? Do we not drive on it? There it is. Alrighty, so we're gonna be picking up some buoys. Oh, I could customize the load as well. Um, I'm gonna go try axle. We're gonna pull three of them. I need the money. $123, guys. That's all it is. But it is literally only a few miles down the road. 37 miles we got to deliver this thing to. So it's going to be hopefully something we can do two loads in a day with. Um, break on? No. Man, this thing does not want to move at all, guys. First order of business. Changing the rears out of this truck, huh? That might be our trailer down here, yeah. Put the old four ways on. Here is our trailer, we will back up to it. Can't wait to hear what this thing sounds like in a low reverse now. I do love the way this thing sounds, not gonna lie. Let me know down in the comment section, what is your favorite old school motor? Are you guys an old cat, Cummins, Detroit? What do you guys like? Uh, there it is. We're going to attach it. And let's also take a look at the map here. So we're gonna be leaving the Westport, going down past the Home Depot, getting on the main highway, which is the 12, and taking the 12 straight all the way to the end. Banging a left, banging a right around the bend, and we're actually delivering it to another Westport. So, pretty easy ride down, out, and around. So, out of the Westport, back on the highway, bang a right around the Home Depot, which is going to be getting on the 101. And then we're going to go get on 12. Let's try that out. Let's make sure the trailer is hooked up. Oh, oh she is hooked up that we stalled her. Come on, 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 come on. There it is. All right, guys, so we got a little bit of weight on, only about 2,000 pounds, so nothing too crazy. But enough for this old girl. Like I said, listen to this. We're going to be pulling so many gears out of here. Ooh, I didn't realize I could skip that gear. All right, hammers. Appreciate that. Got our papers. Time to ride. Next traffic light, we're going to bang the right at. Head over to the Homie Devo. side right now i am literally in awe on how loud this thing is and how she's driving so we're kind of looking for the home depot and i think it's up here on the right there it is. So that's the 101. Awesome. Awesome. Oh. I don't know how it works in Washington here if they get to go or I get to go. Really want to try to stay away from getting tickets on this profile. I really do not want to afford that. Alright, 
Gay get the green. We're slowly being rolled out. Uh, I don't want the I don't want the red light ticket, guys. We're just gonna we're gonna have to. Yep, everyone's gonna blow my doors off. experience to be able to do this so yeah guys let me know down in the comment section you know are you guys gonna be trying a realistic profile with the realistic economy mods and if you've done it already let me know how did it go for you did you go bankrupt did you run out of money or did you become successful and become a trucking empire let me know down in the comment section what you might have tried or if you're going to So, also today, guys, of course, we are using the SIM panel button box here, the ATS ETS2 communications box from SIM panel. If you guys are interested in grabbing one of those boxes, make sure to click the link in the description below and use code MODDED10 for a little juicy discount. We are also using the Toby head tracking device here on top of my computer screen, which is allowing me to look left, making me look right making me look a little bit up and making me look down we do have a link down in the description below that you guys can click that'll help me out and help you out and we also will be doing a giveaway of one of these toby head trackers so be on the lookout for that and of course the truck is being powered by the moza r5 wheel with the shifter we have the shift extension from ATS Accessories. We do have our blinkers on the side using the ATS version 3 turn signal from um, ATS Accessories. I was going to say American Truck Simulator Accessories, but of course, ATSAccessories.com. We'll have links down in the description below to all the links for some of the gear that I'm using. And of course, all the partners here of the Hammerhead community. We are very glad to have partners such as Toby, and of course sim panel here part of the community and if you guys are interested in working with me and the hammerhead community make sure to email me down there also down in the description as a way to contact me and uh, let's see what we can do as we now enter aberdeen the gateway to the olympics so we are going to another west port which is going to be out over here so we're going to check this thing out I was supposed to come to the dead end. Uh, I'm hoping it's an actual dead end. Oh my god. Is something going on here? Like, what's up, dudes? Come on, man. Is that real life? <clears throat> Maybe this guy next to me is going to the uh, Westport as well. That would be uh, very coincidental and very much a good thing so I could follow him. I'd like to follow him. Oh, where's he going? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What are you doing? Is he about to, like, run this red line and get into, like, a massive accident? We're going to continue to roll up a little bit because that's, that's what we're going to do. Try to get a little bit of road speed out of this old girl. Come in. Oh, look at that. We got old school and new school. Come in. Be really cool we can see the reflection of the truck going down here through the city yeah 
there's our dead end down there. Oh, what a mistake starting this off in this gear. Would be nice to eventually pay off some loans and also get this truck customized up a little bit. But that's another thing I'd like to discuss, guys. So what we're going to do is we are going to have a checklist for this profile as well because we don't want to have the profile, of course, just have a zero ending. We will have goals here on this profile. And they're going to be very similar, of course, to the other profiles, of course, you know, becoming successful, not actually becoming bankrupt, uh, owning a few trucks and drivers and stuff like that. And so what we feel would be a successful company here. So let me know down in the comment section, what do you guys think, too? What are, what are some good goals here for this profile? What would you guys like to see accomplished? Do you guys want to see a certain number of trucks purchased? a certain number of drivers hired underneath us, perhaps a certain number in the bank account. Let me know down in the comment section what you guys think should be one of the end goals or maybe all the end goals of this profile. As we pull into Astoria. And we will be Jersey rolling that stop sign, Gibby. And we're looking for the Westport, which I believe is right back in front of me. Yeah, look at that, guys. There's Westport. Right, now, how do I get in here? It's not there. You guys think it might be in here? Probably so, right? That's the rustic next door. Come on, girl. Now to try to find where these guys want it. We did put the icons mod in the game now. Oh, right here in front of me. Beautiful. They got the lines right there for us. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And come on, baby. There it is. Set the brake. We'll shut her down. And let's get this load unhooked from the trailer. Not too shabby. 37 miles, 6.2 gallons consumed. Uh, 61 XP, so not exactly what we need, but we got the money there for that one. Uh, anything else coming out of Westport? Wow, this is going all the way down to the dollars. This is for a big buck, too. Uh, do we pull, like, another drop deck out of here? Hmm. I wonder if we do that, or maybe we do, um... Let's go back to the job market here, and let's see if there's anything else out of Aberdeen. Uh, ooh, look at that, guys. See? This is $221. This is what we gotta do. We gotta try to find what our loads are worth. This right here, guys, this might be a ride from hell. But we're going to do it. That is going to be a fun one. Right next door. I don't know how we're going to do it. Come on, baby. Oh, man. Let's pull out from underneath this. Let's go pick up that loader. We're going to put these 463s to the test. For sure. That will be the ultimate test already gonna tell you guys apologies for episode number two and of course too for any of my no gps fans we're actually gonna be doing this with no gps so we don't have that level yet to unlock the old gypsus so we will be doing this no GBS style as well. So paying it homage. Uh, we got nobody coming that way. Nobody coming that way. So beautiful. We're going to roll on out, keep the momentum going. And of course, pull right next door to the rustic. Uh, the 
loading is over there. Okay, cool. Put the old four ways back on. Let them know that we're not just driving around their yard like a crazy animal. Oh, guys, I am so, so nervous to pull this thing out here. This is going to be awesome. We're just going to block the whole entrance, too. Classic truck driver. All righty. So we're going to go to freight market, and then we are going to look for this. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, it's gone already. Oh, no. But we can take this, though. We must. The load must have expired already. Or did I just go to the wrong place for it, I wonder? Let's find out real quick. I might have just gone to the wrong place for it. But let's just double check. I did. It's. Is there another rustic? Oh, there is down the street. Okay, so let's go get that. Man, this episode is really going to be turning out to be one hell of an episode. Uh, I'm going to have to read that map again, though. Uh. Let's go back out the way I came, and then we're going to jump back on the highway, I guess, and then make a left into the rustic, right? I don't know. I kind of want to pull the wheel loader, to be honest with y'all. I mean, you guys are probably like, no, we don't want our ears bled. It's going to be so loud. Oh, this guy's going to let me out. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Thank you. There you go, guys. Look. I can actually drive a good old 855. 250 horse, too. That's what's really killing us. Hopefully we can find someone out here in the Seattle, Washington, maybe even Oregon area that can tune this thing up a little bit. So I could make the left here. That's a dead end up there. We'll turn the four ways off as well. One thing I love about SCS, guys, I've been learning a lot over my experience here with the no GPS. I am very, very glad that the road signs have been 99.9% .9 accurate. I am very, very excited about that. Now, I just want to double check here because someone's going to yell at me again. It is this right. Okay. We can do that. It's not a real no GBS episode. Come on. We'll make the next one, though, for reals. We already got 55 miles on the odometer, so we're going to have to do an oil change on this thing in a few thousand. And we're going to be looking for the rustic. So guys, holler out if you guys see the rustic. I wonder if this bridge goes up. Let me know down in the comment section. Does this bridge go up? Do any bridges go up in American Truck Simulator? Let me know down in the comment section if you guys have seen any bridges going up. When and where are they? Uh, I was going to try to play this light. guy behind me is like, oh my god, what have I done? I just got stuck behind the world's slowest truck. Okay, that's not that. That's the other yard. Rustic is going to be up here on the left, though. I believe it's the next cutout. Oh, cool. Good. We got a sign. We got a sign. Love the signs, guys. Big W. SCS. Appreciate those signs. Huge, huge W. Going to be hearing a lot of that in the next episode. As we pull down here for the rustic.
gonna keep the you're gonna keep the power down. Get up the hill. Man, this old girl be bouncing around. Oh my gosh. Alright, here's this guy over here sweeping. Poor guy's been Rumor has it he's been sweeping for like 30 years. Alrighty, we'll pull the brake. Got our four ways on. Let's go ahead and get this trailer. I think they got two options on this thing. Yeah, we can do a step deck or an actual low boy. I think we're gonna low boy this thing out of here. Uh ooh, it's a we it's a uh like a wheel loader for a um for tree stumps and such. That's cool. Five hundred and thirty-three dollars, guys. You can't beat that. Where is it? There it is. Come on. Find the gear. Guys, this is going to be a ride from hell. Alright, so what I'm going to do is we, we have such a short wheelbase. I'm going to do one of these. That's our trailer there. So yeah, for $533, you guys do the math, right? We just did that one load for $123. So then now we've only got a $10 profit for the day, plus our fuel. So we probably lost money on that. We got six gallons of fuel. And then now this is going to be for $533. We'll definitely make a good profit of the day. Uh, hopefully be able to utilize that somewhere else. Maybe our fuel won't cost that much. Got to see what fuel costs as well. Let you guys hear this thing from the outside. goes I'm going to attach the trailer and we are going to do a slight tug she is hooked up she is weighing in at 33,000 pounds we're going to pull it off the job site and down the hill a little bit Did you guys take a look at this unit right now this entire setup very very cool See the old school truck doing its work. We're about to let freedom ring. For some of you hammers, we're watching this right now. I apologize for the ears. Give you guys a little bit of the jake break. Gosh, she sounds good. We're gonna pull up here on the side. Get it mostly off of the main hall road here. Bring it on down by the stop sign. And we're going to go ahead and get some paperwork ready. Pull the brake. We're going to get some paperwork ready. Check the map. And guys, next episode, we're going to take this thing and down the road. It is still early in the morning. What time is it here in the game? Let's take a gander here. I think it's like 8 or 9. 8 a.m. 8 a.m. We got a long day ahead of us here in the game to get this wheel loader delivered. We are going to get this thing delivered all the way up to Everett. Wow, going to uh, the Lieber dealer, actually. So we're bringing this machine all the way back up. Big, big run going up the Route 5. So we're going to be going back the exact same way, up the 5, uh, all the way here into Everett. It is going to get a little confusing right here by the Route 2. But uh, we are gonna we're going to tackle it. It's only 183 miles. It's about a four-hour ride. It says it's three hours, 44 minutes. But it's going to be about three and a half to five-hour ride, I would assume, given all of the circumstances. So, guys, really do appreciate you guys watching. Of course, you guys know I will see you next week here with 
episode number three let me know again too if you guys stayed this far to the end of the video let me know too do you guys want to see this once a week twice a week uh do you ever want to see a live stream of it let me know uh we will of course if we do a live stream play it in a 100 percent youtube fashion uh and have it uploaded here to the channel or do we just keep it strictly youtube but uh, guys that is gonna do it for me i hope you guys have an awesome day wherever you guys may be if you guys like the video give it a thumbs up make sure to hit that subscribe button and of course i will catch you guys on the flip and as always keep the hammer down and we'll catch you on the flip and i said that twice oh my gosh this old truck is ringing brain ringing the brain cells out have a good one guys we'll catch you in the next one